Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Scorchlands. Let's keep chugging away on our objectives here on the left. They want us to unlock terraforming two technology and then start producing glass as well. The terraforming two technology is locked behind glass production. So let's see if we can unlock that or what we need to do. We need eight more arcane tablets or eight total arcane tablets. We've got four. Uh, in our supply, we need to ramp up our production of those. Let's see if we can do it. Arcane tablets. They are over. Straight ahead. Let's run our little character over this way. And let's see what our supply situation looks like. Arcane tablets are down here. And what do we need for those? Let's see what we're short on. Arcane metal. I think we need more arcane metal. And we're short on arcane dust. Okay, you've been at it for two hours. Are you sure it's not time to take a break yet? Okay, that's fine. We're still going. Void stone, we got plenty. Bloodstone, we got plenty. And soul stone, we've got plenty. So we can get more arcane dust. Where are we producing that? That are these, that's these guys in the perimeter. They do benefit from houses. So what we could do... These... These arcane metal production guys do not benefit from houses. So we could move these out of here. In fact, can I just... Yeah, let's move them out to the outskirts. And then let's slot in here more arcane dust workshops. Because they will benefit from these houses. And then we'll take a look at our supply situation here. Stone is low. Okay, arcane dust, we now have a surplus. Arcane metal, we have a surplus. So now we need to ramp up the tablet production. Now is that... Oh, now we're short on stone slabs. We've got that going on over here. So maybe we got to kick these guys... <laughs> we got to kick these arcane arcane metals out. Because we want to we wanna maximize this stone slab production. Or we could import stone slabs. I don't know that we've got a good... Well... We could set up a colony over here and import stone slabs. Or we could try and scale this up a little bit. Hmm. Importing stone slabs doesn't sound like a bad idea. Got a bunch over here and we could just beam it straight out. We did unlock a few more population. What do you think? What do you think? Hmm. Let's see. Let's move some things around. This guy can go. Let's move this to where it's going to benefit from some of these houses. We can plunk a house down here. That improves this a bit. And a house here improves these guys. This thing can move. And if we put a house here, I think, yeah, this benefits a bunch of stuff. Look at all the gears lining up that are going to benefit from that one. Well, let's move these out of the way. I'm tempted to move all of our forges to some other location. They're not really benefiting from being in this town. All right, let's see how we're doing. We still need more stone, it seems. All right, let's see where we're at. 
Stone tablets is up to 21. Okay, we have enough. <laughs> we have enough. It's not optimized. We have enough to unlock the glass production, I believe. Yeah, eight. Unlock. Boom. But we're going to need seven more stone tablets to unlock the terraforming. Plus, we need... Uh, I guess we don't need anything but that to unlock it. Glass production... Laser fast travel. Okay, this allows us to teleport between our towns. Let's do it. Just so we can see what that's all about. Oh, check it out. Here's Logistics 2. Allows us to transfer two resources in opposite directions with each laser connection. What else we got? Performance enhancing potions. This takes six arcane tablets. Our production's a little low on that. That would get us three more population. We unlock the unit cap. We still couldn't battle. Radius cap increase. Okay, cool. Unlock six more population there. What about this? Let's see. Unlocks a strong melee unit. Requires some expensive resources in order to be kept in fighting condition. So this would unlock combat gear, but we still got to make it. Armor and combat gear. And we need to update our upgrade our arcane tablet production. Oh man. Let's do glass production or try to. That's one of our objectives here. Start supplying glass. Where are we going to do it? Got a bunch of sand over here. Let's see what that's going to take. Okay, sand shortcut. Glass. Glass takes sand and coal. And do I have coal? Where is my coal coming from? Coal is... Is it coming in this way? Yeah, there's our coal coming in. We could always... From here, beam some coal to this location, too. And then do our glass production somewhere in this area. Let's try it. Let's try some of this. Let's see. Um, we've got a little bit of population now. I'm going to upgrade. Ooh, if I upgrade this colony, I wipe out some buildings. Maybe I won't. Sand just needs to be anywhere. Put some sand down. Tempted to put housing. I think this benefits from housing. Ooh, only 25%. Think of putting a house like right here. But these two are going to take a hit because they've got one less, one less sand tile they're next to. But that only gives them 0.4. Oh man, math. There's some math here. I'm going to pop a house down here anyway. And what I want to do, I want to get some... Oh, do I want to do that? So we got a couple options. We're looking to make glass. We need coal and sand to do it. Okay, we're producing some sand here. What we can do is either beam that sand and coal to some third location and manufacture it there, or we can just send a little bit of coal in here and man and set up a couple glass plants just to say we did it. Let's go the easy route and do that. I'm going to beam some coal into this region. Let's go into town so I can get to my build menu. Logistics. Boom. Oh, that one's not going to reach. I can maybe just move this one here. Oh, will you not go over? Can't move a building between colonies. Okay. We'll just take that one out. You go bye-bye. And we will... 
up into town, put this laser down to receive. We're gonna be getting coal. We're gonna have to split our coal supply a little bit. Let's see how we do that. We got 60 coming in. Let's send 50. Fifty over to where we're making all this, um, where is that? Oh man, it's hard to tell. A little hard to see. I wish we could zoom out a little bit more in this view. I know they got the map view. But basically we're making coal over here. Or we're using coal over here. I just took down that supply a little bit. And we're going to share some of that coal with another place straight ahead there. Let's do it. Coal. We've only got 10 left. So let's see if we can make any glass with this coal with just 10 coming in. Okay, we've got glass. We're making 10. And now, so that objective's done. Unlock terraforming technology too. We know we need a bunch of arcane tablets for that. Supply 10 volatile essence. Where is that? Can we even make it yet? Haven't gotten to the altars. Haven't gotten to the combat gear. No special buildings yet. Can't produce armor plates. Can't produce a volatile essence yet. Requires terraforming two for the volatile essence. Let's see. Where are we? Terraforming two. Ten more arcane or seven more arcane tablets. Hmm. Here's where we've got that going. I think we need to scale up a bunch of stuff to make this work. Let's hop in here. Uh, that's not even it. Okay, we're going to head over here. This is where we're doing the arcane tablets. Right ahead. Got very little room to build here. And I'm thinking we might want to move these arcane metal guys out. If we do that, though, we're probably going to have to move out the arcane tablet production as well. That's all these guys. We'd like to scale up arcane tablets. Okay, I probably report the new laser network has cut most of our commute times in half. Very cool. We haven't actually tried that yet. Let's do that real quick. We hop in here. All right, personally, I don't even mind the discomfort of the annihilation and reconstitution phase anymore. Let's see, can I transfer rate? Okay, to teleport yourself, Unlock the laser fast travel, which we've done, I believe. Stand on the tile on the laser and press E. So we're going to press E and not there. We're going to press E on this guy and see if it sends us over. There we go. Boom. So now we can kind of teleport between destinations. That's kind of handy. I like it. Still wish we could zoom out a little bit and then maybe have like a little overlay on the town name. Because it's getting a little hard for me to navigate. What's what? Can we increase this guy? We cannot. We were looking at what we were short on in tablets, so... Stone slabs, we've got a little bit of extra. Arcane metal, we do not. We're short on arcane metal, big time. And we're arcane metal. Got tons of arcane dust. What? Tons of arcane dust. We've got tons of coal. 
We just need more of that production. Hmm. Thinking we should move. Move our arcane metal production out of this area. We're just kind of jammed in. We got too much going on here. Don't want to crowd out that. We've got room here. For a colony. Do we want to try and make use of this space? Yeah, I just could zoom out a little bit more. We've got room here. This is kind of nice view. We can see what's being produced everywhere in our little towns. That's our soul stone. This is mainly our bloodstone and our void stone. Coal. Stone. Tell you what, I think I'm going to cut this episode short <laughs> just because it's going to be fairly involved for us to scale this up the way we I think we need to. But man, pretty cool game. You can see all the complexity involved here. You've got space constraints. You've got proximity bonuses based on um, what machine you have. They can benefit from certain things. So in this case, we've got arcane tablets. It only benefits from being near a household. The arcane metal has a bunch of bonuses, proximity bonuses, looks like. But not households. So how you lay out all of your towns, your little colonies here, is hugely important. And there's multiple ways to kind of optimize things and a lot to kind of work out. We saw the lasers to transmit energy. We got a look at the tech tree. Whoops, that's the map. Look at the tech tree again and see how much we can see. So we're in a demo. I'm not sure if this is going to grow. I would imagine it's going to grow beyond two tiers here. But you've got ways to upgrade the size of your colony or how many colonies you can actually spin up. Upgrades for military. We didn't have much success in the demo with the military. I wish we could have done a little more there. I haven't been able to figure out how to fight these guys off. We might need more armor. In the tutorial, we were able to bring in troops like this and then surround the enemy, but I can't seem to do it before they get kicked out. Yeah, they just keep getting kind of booted before I can step in to help. There they go. So yeah, you've got some combat we terraformed, we set up this desert biome. If we were to supply more resources over to our nexus, we could terraform again. And there's a terraform menu here. If we supply volatile essence, we'll be able to I think unlock something beyond desert lands. I'm guessing. You can create a new biome and that's one of the goals. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I need some more practice for sure. I might spend some more, <laughs> spend some more time. Again, as I record this, I'm playing an early version of the demo. It's not yet available. But by the time this episode posts, that demo should be available on Steam. Or it's just a matter of days before it before it is. Highly recommend checking out this game. On the surface, doesn't look very complex. But man, once you get into it, there is a lot. And this is just the demo. So lots of depth. Hope you enjoyed this kind of early preview season. For Scorchlands, again, I recommend checking this out. Only, no real bugs. My only complaint is just not being able to zoom out a little further in this particular view. So we can kind of navigate a little bit easier. But very cool game. For now, this is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to GladderCat patrons and channel members. Really appreciate your support. Without it, there would not be a GladderCat channel. So thank you for that. And thanks to those of you that have given this series thumbs up. Appreciate that as well. 
and I will see you all in the next series.